So in 1993, I started a small business restoring, protecting, preserving exterior wood, mainly decks and fences. We did some cedar siding and some log cabins. We built that business by 98, our fifth year in business. Business was going very well, had built a good solid business, advertising on TV, things were growing. Uh, I was overwhelmed, working a little too hard, so I hired a manager to come in and kind of take over and help me run the business. Uh, he did a wonderful job, and within a few months, I was basically semi-retired because Lee did such a wonderful job, he was running my business for me. So, like most small business owners, successful business, up and growing, I started thinking about, you know, is this business franchisable? So we researched that, uh, we spent a couple of years thinking through all of that and trying to decide whether or not we wanted to franchise our business. Um, in about 2000, we opened a couple of company-owned stores a couple hundred miles from our base business in Springfield, Missouri. It was kind of a test market. Uh, give us a good opportunity to tweak our operations manual, to, to perfect the marketing, make sure it was, you know, it was doable in another market. Uh, so when our, we had our third store up and going, it proved itself, it was taken off, so we thought, all right, now it's time to franchise. So in 2002, we granted our first franchise. So I had built the Wood Renew franchise business to about 22 locations. We were in a dozen states, and I really wanted to take it nationwide and really grow it. And to do that, there was a lot of things that we needed to add. We wanted to do a, a custom CRM for our franchisees. We wanted to add a lot more marketing. We wanted a better creative department. And we couldn't do that. We were a small, you know, basically a mom and pop franchise company. I reached out to a couple of different companies. I called uh, Chris Grand Prix with Outdoor Living Brands. We had several conversations. They came down, checked me out. I flew up there. We uh, had a great visit at Outdoor Living Brands in Richmond, and we decided it was a perfect fit. You know, we built this business called Wood Renew, doing exterior wood. We focused on just wood. Um, but the wood market's kind of going away. You know, there's, there's composites now. The hardscape industry is growing, and, and you know, a lot of people are putting in patios instead of decks. So, we could see that market slowly starting to shrink, especially nationwide. At the same time, franchisees are coming to me saying, Stan, the homeowners are saying, you know, while you're here doing my deck, can you do my driveway? Can you do our sidewalk? Can you do my patio? How about the siding? This has mold and mildew all over it. Can you clean my siding? So the franchisees are coming to me saying, Stan, let's add these services. I'm having wonderful business conversations with Chris Grand Prix and everybody at Outdoor Living Brands, and they're saying, Stan, let's grow this. Let's open the potential up for the franchisees to make more, we need to add services. So we spent uh, a couple of years researching and, and uh, coming up with the different chemicals. I had built a great relationship with a couple of vendors, chemists, so we come up with proprietary products to uh, clean siding and, and concrete and all of the hardscape surfaces. Probably what I'm most uh, proud of is the fact that we, we provide a lot of the services that a lot of power wash companies provide, but we are environmentally friendly. It's an environmentally friendly foam cleaner that cleans all the surfaces.